Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your year ahead for 2021. We're going to look at the general energies and actions of each month specifically. Um, so, um, you can try to avoid any negative cycles repeating or something like that. Um, or not miss any great opportunities. So, um, if this resonates with you, make sure that you do bookmark this video so you can um, refer back to it for the year ahead. All right, Gemini, 2021. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be you or the person that you're dealing with at the time. Um, so flip flop those energies as you need to. Also keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. All right, coming up in 2021 for the gems each month, please. You guys would like to contact me for a personal reading. Um, you can find that information below as well. All right, last shuffle. Could be something with a Leo. Someone at a distance, possibly that you've been waiting for, or something that you've been waiting for. Oh, some of you, wow, could be a much higher level of commitment this year. Seeing a mixture of cards. So let's see how this is going. 2021 for the Gems. There's that Leo energy, Libra. Could be some good news in a legal situation. All right. Okay. You're ahead for the gems. What's coming up? 2021. Ooh. Nice way to start the year. We got the world. Thank you. Oh, okay. That took a turn. 2021 for the gems, please. Here I have for Gemini, could be an Aquarius, Pisces energy, oh, too many, oh, what is going on, all right, Capricorn energy, One more for Gemini. Thank you. Scorpio energy. <laughs> it's funny the way it's wrapping up. It's kind of the way it's beginning. All right. Card for the overall energy. We have some pretty, thank you, pretty big cards here. There you are, King of Swords, for your overall energy. So you're sitting right under the world, across from the justice, below the de death, um, above the devil. You have the moon and the star. Kind of an interesting year here. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here ahead for Gemini. So, give me one second. This is like a transformative year for you in some way. You have the world, the death, the justice, the devil, the moon, the star. Like, you have a lot of elements from the world to the beginning to the end. That there's there's a lot of transformations this year. This is like a powerful year, it feels like. The Empress at the bottom of the deck, so there could be a Taurus. Um, we'll see what's going on. All right, so we have Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another um, air sign and Scorpio. All right, it looks like some, some challenging times, so... Um, let's see how this is going. All right. Show me this world card for, um, and it's interesting before I even take those cards. For January, you have the world. A new cycle, endings for beginnings. The next month, you do have an ending, but then you wrap up the year with the death. And along the way, you have the justice, the moon, the devil, like all, all kinds of crazy components. All right, January, the world. 
one cycle ending so a new one can begin what is this world card for gemini for january thank you it may be a decision with the two of swords um make sure you're trusting your intuition or it could be you know um could be with an aquarius Leo or gemini things kind of come into a crossroads here it could be a married man um and with the months following it, it's like, uh, this is kind of like leading up to something. Uh, you could have a decision between two people or someone may. It's kind of like, um, it feels like a make or break time. Yeah, there could be a lot of competition, some jealousy, some anger around this. It's almost like decision time with that world card. Because the next month, you have some type of ending here. Show me February. What is this Ten of Swords? This could just be feeling backstabbed or betrayed. But with that world there, it's, it's one cycle that's got to wrap up um, in order for a new one to begin. So show me this Ten of Swords for Gemini. The Knight of Wands. So you could have been dealing with the player. Because that's about thing. Yeah, see, this is an ending here in February due to some type of betrayal or backstabbing type of energy here the knight of wands so player energy some of you guys could have been met, messing with a, uh, a married man or something like that because it's kind of like january is like building up things are kind of coming to a crossroads where something has to pop and then february it pops it ends so march you have the nine of wands um this is the wounded warrior you're kind of guarded you're kind of defensive here show me march please for gemini what is this nine of wands this is an intense time, the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of guardedness, uh, feeling guarded, a lot of anxiety here, possibly around the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could be around finances, but there's a lot of stress around this person here. I think they're coming back trying to, based on the bottom of the deck, make something kind of more balanced, more even. This person is stressing this month, or this could be you stressing your money. Because the King of Pentacles is all about his money. Or you could be stressing your Empress. Could be a Taurus, but um, it kind of seems like the male stressing the female. Or the masculine energy stressing the feminine. Possibly because before there was some deceit. So April, we have the star. This is Aquarius energy. Show me the star. This is an opportunity. This is some type of wish fulfillment. Could be with the Taurus. This is Taurus season. Um, could be something spiritual or something committed here that you see as a wish fulfillment. Um, an opportunity possibly to reestablish if this is the same person. Try to work on commitment and um, rebuilding this. If this is someone you're kind of in and out with. But um, there is something stable, something traditional here. Some type of wish granted type thing. But there is some anxiety, some hold back around that. Probably overthinking it. Depending on if, you know, if it's the same person, then that anxiety makes perfect sense. All right. For May, you have the moon card. This is Pisces energy. This is, it can be hidden. Oh, okay. This is like an obsession. Um, this is probably one of those toxic relationships that kind of just keeps going back and forth. Um, this is about things that are hidden. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn there for you. But it's most likely some type of like, um, yeah, see the moon again from the other deck. So the moon's there twice for May. Uh, the moon is about secrets. And we do have the devil there. Could be a um, Scorpio energy. This is kind of like a codependent relationship here, though. There is some type of transformation, though, that's trying to happen. Um, it's difficult with the Ten of Wands. It's, it's difficult. Someone could be fighting for it, but there's, there's possibly things there. There's a transformation, some type of change within like a codependent relationship here. It could, it could go either way. It's a codependent relationship, and nonetheless, like something that kind of you seem like like you've carried this weight with this relationship or these struggles for a while. I mean, the devil. It could be like an addiction or something. We do have the devil coming up again. 
in July. So June, we have the Five of Pentacles. This is someone, it could be money issues or it could be someone feeling ghosted or breadcrumb kind of left behind here. Yeah, damn, two fives. Something's building up. There's regret. There's disappointment. There's sadness. There's letdowns. And there's loneliness. Whether this is you or your person. So this definitely does seem like an in and out relationship. So if that's you, you know, if you've kind of been going through this for a while, possibly like up to 10 years, um, then um, it's just continuing. So the Queen of Wands, you're standing your ground here. It could be an Aries Leo Sag, but you're standing your ground. You're knowing your power. You're knowing your worth. You're healing. It could be a Virgo or a Sagittarius, but you're somebody's done pissed you off probably from this month before or something like that. Or maybe something happens this month. But there's definitely some letdown, some loneliness there. All right, so July, we have the Devil. Capricorn energy, but this is also here for May. The star card. So definitely an attachment to something. Uh, possibly a person here, because we also have the star here for April. So it's, it's, yeah, for you, this is your energy, some type of wish fulfillment here. It's probably this toxic situation because it keeps popping up. It was here April, May, it kind of went to shit. June shit. July, back to an opportunity to rebuild. You're kind of guarded towards this, but that's your energy here. Yeah. Use your intuition um, towards Virgo Capricorn, but there could be two people like chained to this situation. All right, August. We have these seven of cups. Options, choices. Could just be a lot of things going on. Let's look at the bright side. So we have seven of cups for August for Gemini, please. Yeah, things are kind of on hold here. Trying to see things from all perspectives, but it's kind of a stuck energy. Someone may have options, but there's just a lot of confusion. There's a lot of need for clarity there. Um, possibly contemplating something, but the hangman is there. Things are moving pretty slow here in August. Could be the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, somebody's considering offering something solid, but for others of you, it's just kind of a stuck, confused kind of month. Kind of like a daydreamy kind of month, it feels like, but not a lot of movement. Not with that hangman and knight of pentacles. Yeah, things are like withheld, feelings are withheld. You know, the high priestess could talk about secrets, so. All right, September, you have the justice card. This is. Libra energy. Show me this justice card. It could be a legal situation. It could be, oof. All right, for some of you, if you have a legal situation here, you could lose some money. That five of pentacles. Um, just want to throw that out there. For others of you, show me this five of pentacles. So if you have a legal case, then prepare for it and start saving your money the month before because um, there could be a loss there. Show me one more card for this Five of Pentacles. For others of you, this goes back to um, June. We have the same Five of Pentacles. Someone's still ghosted, left behind. Something popped over. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there definitely could be some type of money issues here. To the Queen of Pentacles, if you're not dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, then, you know, she's all about her money here. So with the Five of Pentacles, there definitely could be some type of money issues or a legal situation. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, you know, there could be an ending for a new beginning here type thing. Leaving one person behind for another. Because someone's feeling left out. Um, show me one more card. The sign. The two. It's going too many ways. So let's stick with money issues. <clears throat> but it kind of relates back to, um, it could be a marriage here. Somebody's kind of feeling left behind. The justice card again, Libra energy spoke there twice for this month. So this could be some type of marriage or something. Um, you could have a court situation with or, you know, kind of going through with ups and downs or possibly try to balance that out. <clears throat> 
Yeah, based on the cards at the bottom, either trying to balance that out or things are kind of going sour. It kind of more so feels like money issues. All right, where are we at? October, 10 of Wands, working hard for something, fighting hard. Oy. It could be a little challenging here with the Five of Swords. Somebody could be a little hard-headed, maybe a little de deceitful. The Five of Swords is someone wanting to win at all costs, but this could be very determined to work towards something. Some of you guys could be moving um, or trying to move on. Yeah, the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This is a whole lot of holding back, a whole lot of meditating, healing. I think you're trying to move forward from some some type of chaos with that five, or it could have been some type of betrayal, something like that. Um, it's more like a recouping phase, and with the Ten of Wands there, it may be difficult, um, but it feels like a cycle trying to wrap up. You have the Five of Swords and then the Six of Swords. Oh, you have the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So um, it may be a, a difficult time, but you're pushing through something here. Um, some type of struggle. The Four of Swords is about, you know, healing, wanting to be alone. The Five of Swords can be uh, a lot of things. Like someone wanting to win at all costs. There could have been like a liar around you or something like that. And then you're moving forward. You're fighting through something. Um, you're. It's almost like you're trying to let go of something or, you know, just move to some sort of peace. With the four of pentacles there, you're very reserved, or this person is like held inward energy. All right, so November, we have the queen of pentacles again, who is here for September. Show me this queen of pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is like, um, kind of, uh, let's see where it's going. Show me, so someone is waiting, someone is at a distance. What are they waiting for? Could be work. You really could be focused on work here with the Queen of Pentacles, waiting for something to take off. Possibly you got something established here. Really focus on your money um, and things like that. Something maybe at a distance from you, but it's like you're at that waiting period. Like you have something growing. There could be a, a opportunity here uh, with a childhood friend or a job opportunity for some of you. Um, the King of Cups could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you know, this could be someone that you, you're waiting on um, or someone that you work with at that time. But there definitely could be some type of job offer. All right, show me this death card for Gemini for December. This is Scorpio. This is all about change right at the end of the year. Show me this death card. Okay, so definitely a transformation. There's an opportunity here, a solid one with the Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to bring some type of welcome change. This communication can really catch you off guard. But it's definitely going to change things. Yeah, it's going to shake shit up. So you're ending the year on a positive note. If you've been dealing with a player or something um, who's kind of in and out, don't expect that to change. It doesn't look like it does. Um... There's some harsh times, especially the first couple of months. And then it, it's like it tries to rebuild and then it just goes back down for two months. Then one month possibly is good. Then it's kind of like things are on hold. Uh, make sure you're seeing things from all perspectives here. Um, August, like really pay attention to detail. Um, September, if there's a legal situation, you know, that could kind of, there could be money issues or something like with a marriage or a legal situation there. So, um, just make sure you come back to this. Use this as a way to try to break any of these, you know, negative cycles here. <clears throat> Especially if they've been repeating, because for some of you, this has been going on for a long time. This has been a struggle. So. All right, Gemini, I hope this helps, hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.